You may know them as the, Cle the East Cleveland Three, three men who served nearly 20 years in prison for a murder they did not commit. Now they share their story with the community. This is a tale of triumph. Garcina Drakeford reports on the impact of wrongful convictions. They swarm on us, separate us, cuff us up, and they don't even tell us what they arrested for. They were teenagers, Larice Glover, Eugene Johnson, Derek Wheat. Most people won't forget their names after they were convicted of murder in 1996. Like, no, I can't do that because, I mean, we innocent. And that was their story from the beginning. They were innocent. It wasn't until 8,755 days later, they were given back what was taken from them, their freedom. Once they drive down the street and witness a crime, and now we in the courtroom fighting for our life, like that was, it was like it was a nightmare that we couldn't wake up from. At that time, they were known as the East Cleveland Three. Now they have a new name, the Exonerated Three, no longer defined by the headlines of what people say they did. They have a voice to tell people who they really are. I think faith was like the, the only thing we had left to hold on to. Like, we got found guilty, sentenced to 15 years of life, 18 years of life. What else you got to hold on to? Fighting back, they now have a success story to tell. I refuse to let, like, the prosecutor and the police and all of them win. For more than 2,500 people in the United States, it's a similar story of exoneration and rebuilding. In this state alone, the Ohio Innocence Project has worked to free 28 people. And according to Larice, Derek, and Eugene, there's still so many more to fight for. These guys are my heroes, man. It's it was definitely a journey. It still is a journey, but for the most part, we made it. Well, the Ohio House of Representatives passed House Bill 277 today, and that is under this bipartisan bill. Interrogations for most major felonies will have to be recorded with video and audio at the very least. It is a small step that the Ohio Innocence Project hopes will set the judicial system on the right path for us. And talking to these guys today, I mean, this is the very least that you could do, yeah. I think. We, it is unimaginable, as we were saying earlier, to think about this. 20 years in prison for a crime they did not, forget, did right. not commit. And they maintain their innocence the whole time. Wow. All right. Regina Drakeford, thank you.